unanimous endorsement of the NADCO report by both parliament uh, or the MPs and the executive plus the opposition is the highest betrayal to the people of Kenya. It is going to be a contest between His Excellency President William Ruto led factor, the Rail Odinga led function and the, against the people of Kenya. And we will win, by the way. We will win. No miracle is going to work. Which is the elephant in the house? I am a scholar. By so saying, I, had, uh, I mean, I recognize the uh, living aspect of the Constitution. It's a living document. In so saying, adjustments here and there are very necessary. But circumstances for constitutional adjustments or, or change must be justifiable, especially when we are economically able to sustain the, how do you call it, the referendum marathon. The moment we are struggling to put a cup, of, a cup of tea on the table, we've just come from an election which was contested all the way to the Supreme Court. Mm. Then you are still talking of us going to a referendum. The uni, uh, uh, unanimous endorsement of the NADCO report by both parliament uh, or the MPs and the executive plus the opposition is the highest betrayal to the people of Kenya. It is going to be a contest between his Excellency President William Ruto led factor, the Rail Odinga led function, and the, against the people of Kenya. And we will win, by the way. We will win. No miracle is going to work. Sure. No matter how hard you try to untwist this, mm. Chebukati, this is above you. We will win. We will win. Mm. Whatever you do, we will win. Because Absolutely. the people, you, here we are talking of a scenario mm. of a billionaire being created for a position by a, a jobless angry young man sure. this young man here has no job he can't pay rent he can't buy skuma wiki yes hata ile mama mboga ruto hata sahi ametotoa kwa mama mboga alisema mama mboga ndiye atajenga serikali sisi ni watoto wa mama mboga my mother eh, sells viazi there in chiga market down in the great lakes eh, city of kisumu mm. hata watoto wa mama mboga wameanza kusahau mboga hata hiyo mboga iko they don't produce mboga they want to overtax mama mboga sasa tutakula nini tunakula watoto wa mboga Tuna... <laughs> so when that time come these people will come and start eating you mm. that is the truth absolutely they will start eating you mm. na nimeona vitu mtandaoni inaitwa the Nja revolution mm. don't take these things for granted as an historian i do recall the jasmine revolution in tunisia in 2010 and factors that led to that particular revolution mm. The high cost of living, uh, corruption, in-depth corruption in government structures, political injustices, electoral frauds, police brutality. You saw what happens to uh, Mohamed uh, uh, Bazu. He had to leave power. Kenya has been a stable country in as much as we've been praised as a... Um, a calm city, a midst, a turbulent sea. You've seen our neighboring countries like Uganda, Somalia, uh, Eritrea, ETC. They've been up and down in chaos, but we've been very peaceful. Therefore, besides all these uh, glorifications, we must be cautious enough not to over uh, stretch and step on the people's foot. An angry man is an angry man. No one will discuss about economic uh, resuscitation with an empty stomach. No one will speak about uh, technological advancement or moving towards a techno-savvy society with an empty stomach. No one will talk about fairness. No one will speak about justice. No one will speak about free and fair elections. No one will speak about a youth-friendly, entrepreneurial business environment with an empty stomach. We as young people, we don't need help from the government. Actually, the government can help it, uh, itself. And by the way, why should government help us? A government has no money. That money belongs to me. We, I'm a taxpayer. Mm. Yes, that is our money. So why should you use our resources to help us? We employ the government to run our affairs on our behalf. All they need to do is to ensure that in so doing, they embrace the MPH principle. That is meritocracy, pragmatism, and honesty. The current revelations in this Kenya Kwanzaa government 
is a backstab on the MPH principles. They have been singing of the Aslanomic economics and equating it to the Singaporean miracle. There was no miracle in Singapore. Those people embraced meritocracy. How did the president hire his cabinet? He just confirmed the other day that some of the cabinet ministers do not understand exactly what happens in their ministries. Mm. Meritocracy X. We talk of pragmatism. How realistic is pumping 40 billion out of 12 mil billion investment as to the to the economy? M uh, pragmatism missing. Honesty. Why would we import a substandard oil products, edible mm. oil, to the people of Kenya? Mm. The, pres the deputy president is seeing, they first prophesied uh, an non-existence of El Nino. El Nino came now, he's saying, it is us who are taking ourselves to the floods. So, I wonder, that woman who was being swept in Mandera or Garissa, whether, whichever, he, whether, she, took herself. whether she took herself to that situation, mm. that was a pregnant woman who was going to give birth maybe to the savior of this nation because this current administration has failed. Maybe that was the messiah we were waiting for. They are saying that boy and the mother took themselves to the floods. Really? Where are we are dead as a country? Small countries like these neighboring countries, I would not call them for the interest of diplomacy. They are doing well when it comes to uh, FDI, uh, that is financial development investment. They are doing well when it comes to GDP. They are doing well when it comes to capa uh, per capita income. What are we doing? We are struggling even to buy a cup, a cup of, uh, it's not even a cup, we call it a tumbler of coffee. Sure. Of co yeah, a tumbler of coffee. Because tumblers are no longer used in clubs. Gone are the days when someone would get time to sip at least one, two, three sips in the uh, entertainment joints. Nowadays, people are really struggling to put ugali on the table. Mm. The ugali we are eating is a product of GMO. GMO has a long way health risks. Some of these MPs or parliamentarians have never handled a cancer patient. I speak as one who has dealt with a cancer patient. I have worked in a regional health facility. And that's why when I speak of uh, a country that is stagnated from the economy, health and security, mm. I speak of what I know. Go to the public hospitals. The vital drugs are not available. The procurement teams are the same people who open outlets of pharmacies outside the hospital setups. You go for a vital drug in a public hospital, it's not there. But yeah, you walk yeah. into a small scale kibanda, equivalent to a public toilet outside in the name of a pharmacy, you find a very expensive drug. Then you ask yourself, mm. what is the uh, miracle behind the drug moving from a, 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 a chemistry mm. all, uh, or a production center all the way to these small pharmacies and not a public hospital. Actually, they refer you. They refer you. They will tell you, go to, go to XYZ pharmacy. Mm. These are medics in these public hospitals. No one is talking about that. Someone is coming to tell you SHIF. NHIF has been funded with billions. And NHIF fails to provide vital surgical uh, cost that is required as per the insurance scheme. A lot of people are queuing still in the hospitals waiting for NHIF approval. approval. Why should we remit? Then after remittance, the money is not there. Then you wait. Who is this NHIF? Mm. Who is the patient in the NHIF list?